Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Pajapati, and in this video, I will be solving a important Pi Spark question which was asked in the recent interview. I got this question from one of my subscribers. He shared a question over the email. So I will be solving that so that uh, it will be useful for others users like you. Also, I have launched a dedicated course on PySpark interview question series. Here you will find out almost 50 important questions which were asked in the recent interviews in different companies like Tiger Analytics, Fractal Analytics, Cyber Technology, Accenture, Deloitte and so. You can find out the uh, detail over here and you can also find out the link in the description box. So let's get started with the question now. So this is the question which I received from one of my students over the email. And he was asking that, hey, we have two files, transaction.csv and amount.csv. And you can see that, uh, you know, we have customer ID, transaction type and transaction amount. And we have like, uh, you know, customer underscore ID and current underscore amount in another CSV file. And we have to write a code, write a PySpark code to get all the customer ID along with their final balance amount after calculating their transaction based on transaction type. So you can assume that this is your the, this is you like you you are customer and you have currently you have like thousand rupees and what you did you did some transactions you know you did some credit you did some debit. So based on that, af, I mean, you know, uh, on the end of the day, how much money you have left in your account <coughs> that we need to find out. So you can see customer one has 940 rupees. How it is? Because credit is 30 and, uh, you know, debit is 90. It means if I credit means addition, debit means, you know, reduction. So 30 minus, uh, you know, 30 minus 90 becomes minus 60 and if I reduce minus 60 from here it will become how much 940 likewise you can go with you know credit uh, 50 and uh, for customer 2 debit is 90 to it it becomes like 40 difference right so if you reduce 40 rupees from 2000 it becomes 1960 Likewise, we have for three, and since four four does not have any four customer does does not have any of the transactions over here, so it will remain four thousand like this. Correct. So uh, I have you know uh, I I I have made all the necessary uh, data frames over here, right? So we have amount underscore df and uh, transactions underscore df. Now we'll see how we can write it down over here. So I will do PySpark dot SQL dot function. It should be PySpark import spark. Okay. Now uh, I'll just create kind of df underscore one is equal to transaction df. Right transaction df dot aggregation not aggregation i will i would i will do a group by group by on what on what basis customer id basis i will do a group by right i will do a group by correct now i will be using here aggregation right now in aggregation what i need to do i need to you know i need to do a sum when transaction type is credit and i need to do a you know uh, 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 diff i need to find out the difference when transaction type is debit not not uh, not difference i would say i would i need to understand how many how many total credit someone some one customer has done and how many debit one customer has done now you can see for an example you can see we have only two rows but ideally it it can be 10 rows 
40 rows, 50 rows, 100 rows like that. Right. So I need to calculate first credit as per the customer and debit, total debit as per the customer. Right. So for that we need to write the code. So what I have done over here, I have created a data frame, a transform data frame and I have uh, created a new column called total credit. Okay, so you can see for ID, for customer ID uh, 1, we have 30, for 2, 50, for 3, it is 0. Now, if I go over here, you can see for customer 3, we do not have any credit, credit row. Hence, it is uh, saying me 0. So what I have done, I'll just go over here and format the cell. Now you will understand what I done. I use aggregation function. I use then sum and I'm checking, hey, if transaction type is equal to credit, then only do a sum for the transaction amount. Otherwise, con con consider as zero. So what I will, what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy the same and with this i will be using here debit okay and here i will be using transaction amount and this will be total debit now you will you will be seeing hey now we have as per one customer we have total credit and we have total debit now two to solve this question in a different way what you could have what you could do is uh, you know you can you can use uh, case when only when or otherwise in price pack and wherever this is coming as debit you can consider you can you know uh, you you can change this 90 to minus 90 57 to minus 57 and like that and then do a summation on basis of customer id you will get the uh, you know the same amount you know the, the same thing you will be getting and here also if you want to do you can you know do a kind of uh, uh, you know a negate i mean uh, difference you can find out a difference between total debit minus total credit you can do that right away <coughs> okay so I can also do it uh, that's not a problem so what I could what I can do I can add here new column with column and uh, uh, total remaining amount something like that I can give and call of total debit minus call of total credit it will become 60 40 and 57 <clears throat> right very good now we have this amount df also so what i have to do i'll have to write create a new data frame df underscore final i will use this amount df dot join i am going to join with df underscore one which i have created right and here i will be using amount df dot customer id i believe we have customer id also or id <coughs> customer id right so we will be using here customer is equal to is equal to df underscore one dot customer underscore id and what join you, you we should use here we should use here left join or we can say like hey, on on or how i guess how it should be how not on something like that we need to write it down now it returns us customer id current amount customer id total credit total credit and this correct now i'm just see i 
I could have solved this uh, very quickly in a you know you know in a direct way, but to understand you, I am you know writing all these things. So <coughs> please understand this. Here I will be using uh, we have call right. So let's uh, it will throw an error I believe, but let me just try it out for you. Okay, uh, very good. It it is not doing error either. Now you can see for customer ID four we have null 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 over here, and we do not need all these columns. We need only total remaining amount, and we need current amount. So what we can do, we can just do a simple minus. So in this, what we could do is, uh, you know, <laughs> wherever it is null, right? I can make this call. Uh, with column uh, what is the amount comma i can use here coles so why it is not coming yes properly hmm. so i can use here coles come on yeah coles i can use call of the same column name and if it is coming as null then I can provide here zero. I guess I have to use lit zero lit function with zero. Now if I do this, you will be seeing over here zero. Now what I will do, I will create a again new column with column and what was the current, okay, I have to keep a current amount. So I can use here with column, see how easy it is current amount comma and I have to use what I have to use current amount minus one right current underscore amount minus <coughs> total remaining amount I can use the same that's it it becomes this and i only need two columns that is customer underscore id comma current amount i know all these issues come okay no problem at all so i have to use here amount df i can use it so what i did over here i have dropped the you know df underscore one dot customer id uh, you know uh, that call uh, that column and i just using then you know customer id and current amount so what if if i if i would have you know used here amounts underscore df now you can see uh, we were we are not getting the correct answer so why i have used here um, uh, you know why i have used here um, sorry yeah why i have used here df underscore one to to drop the column because we do not need we we need all the customers which is present in the amounts.csv file or amount data frame correct That's why we are using this data frame. Here it can be it can be the case that uh, you know some customers did not do any transactions, so you know their history or their logs are not present in the transaction data frame or the file, right? So that's how you know I have thought to you know write this code. There th there could be multiple ways by which you can solve this question. If you have, please write down in the comment box so that everyone will also love it and like it and if you're interested please check out my courses on my website called
www.geekcoders.co.in. Till then, thank you. Bye-bye. We'll meet you in the next lecture.